This is question number 19, 2020 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2, uh, question number 19. Kering purchased two, into bracket 2x minus 1 identical pens for 180 shillings. Naraya purchased 3x plus 1 identical pencil, pencils for Kenyan shillings 200. Uh, part A. Write an expression for the uh, this is price of one pen uh, price of one pencil so let's start with the, uh, the, the a part a a that is a roman number one uh, since uh, kering bought uh, one uh, used 180 to purchase this so the cost of one uh, pen is 100 of, of, of 180 divided by the number of pencils that were bought so that is minus one uh, Roman number two the number of pens uh, Naraya used 200 to buy uh, 3x plus one so we divide the amount used with the number of uh, items bought uh, from there we go to part b of the question a pen cost four shillings more than a pencil uh, form an equation to represent the information above and hence uh, so for x uh, because of space i'm going to use this uh, space here so we say this is the cost or the co the cost of pen the cost of a pen uh, this is a pen so the cost of pen is 180 divided by 2x minus 1 if you subtract the cost of one pencil which is 200 uh, divided by 3x plus 1 uh, that should be the difference should be 4 so that is how you get that so what you do is uh, we can cross multiply here uh, we say uh, 180 you multiply by 3x uh, plus 1 you close the bracket you com you minus 200 uh, you multiply by 2x uh, minus 1 that should be equals to uh, 4 you multiply by these two that is 3x plus 1 and you also multiply by 2x minus 1 so that way you will be able to solve for x so when you do that when you open the bracket here you have 540 uh, 540 x uh, 180 times 1 that will give you uh, plus 180 uh, minus 200 times 2x that will give you 400x then minus 200 times one, minus 1 that will give you plus 200 negative and negative uh, will be positive so here we have 4 when you expand this you should get uh, 6x squared uh, this is a square 6x squared uh, then we have plus 2x and then we have uh, minus 3x minus 1 uh, so with that you'll be able to 540 you subtract 400 that will give you 140x put the right terms together 180 plus 200 that will give you 380 uh, that that this is equal to you open the bracket here that will give you 24 uh, x squared and then we have plus uh, this will give you not plus but uh, minus uh, that will give you 4 uh, 4x four and we have minus 4 so that is the equation so we can simplify that and when you simplify that you should be able to get uh, 24 x squared uh, then minus 144 uh, that is uh, 144x uh, and uh, minus 384 uh, that should be equals to 0 
which when you simplify by dividing uh, by 24 you should get x squared minus x squared minus 6x uh, then we have minus 16 is equals to 0 uh, so you this is a quadratic equation and when you solve the factor using we solve that using factorization method you get the factors 8 uh, not 8 but uh, x minus 8 and uh, the other one is x plus 2 is equals to 0 so this means that x is equals to 8 at x is equals to 8 or 2 uh, let's apply that properly x is equals to 8 when you take 8 to the other side or or minus 2 and because x is a cost of uh, is a cost representing uh, it, it represent cost cost cannot be negative and therefore what we do is we ignore 2 and say x is equals to uh, 8 so that's the correct uh, the, the value of x is equals to 8 uh, with that then we look at uh, uh, part C part C we are told uh, later the price of a pen went up by 25 while that of a pencil remained the same uh, or unchanged a school went for the same amount of money uh, spent the same amount of money on purchasing of pencil pens as that of on pencils the total number of pens and pencils bought was 46 determine the number of pens bought by the school uh, now first of all we need to find the, the the cost of pen it is 180 you divide by x is 8 so you multiply 2 times 8 that is 16 minus 1 that is 15 uh, so this is equals to you divide that you should be able to get 12 now the cost of pen went up by 25 percent so what is the new price of uh, the pen so it is 12 divide by 100 multiply by 125 when you compute that you will find that the pen the new price of pen is 15 so that is a new price now they bought the same number of uh, pens as the number of pencils now we need to find so this is pen we need to find the cost of pencil uh, the cost of pencil is 200 the value of x is 8 so this is 24 plus 1 that will give you 25 uh, you divide 200 by 25 you get uh, that should give you um, 8 so that is the cost of pencil now what we do is uh, we say that the so let number of pens uh, be p uh, what that means is that since the new cost of uh, pen is 15 it means the cost of uh, number of pens is 15 times p that is the cost of one pen multiplied by the number of pens should be equals to the cost of pencil the cost of pencil we have found it is 8 here uh, you multiply by since the, the total number of pens and pencil bought were 46 so you say it is 46 minus the number of pens that were bought so if you find p then you will be able to you will be able to get uh, the number of pens uh, bought so we say this is uh, 15 uh, p is equals to you multiply this uh, you'll be able to get uh, when you multiply that uh, you use your calculator uh, you say 8 times 46 uh, so 46 times 8 and that is giving me 368 uh, 368 
minus 8p so that's how you do that uh, so from there let bring 8 8 to this side it becomes positive you add to 15 you'll be able to get 23p 23p is equals to 368 uh, you divide both sides by 23 divide by 23 uh, you be able, when you divide by 23 uh, using your calculator you'll be able to get it is equals to 16 so that will go and that will go so p is equals to 16 so that means that we have managed to get in a, determine the number of pens bought by the school the number of pens bought by the school uh, were 16 uh, then the number of pencils were 30 because you use it but uh, at least we have answered the question as it is required so that is how you answer that question i hope you have followed you have been you have to be procedural uh, so you, you note that if you mess up with with part a then you have messed if you don't get uh, if you are not able to get the cost of one pen the cost of one pencil then you will not be able to get the correct uh, answers for the rest of the question so that's how you do that